Hey guys and welcome back to more No Man's Sky. Today I want to look at something called settlements. Um, I think that's the thing they added for Frontiers. Now I thought it was something that you get very, very much later in the game, but apparently it's something that you can do quite early on, or start at least quite early on. So we're gonna have a look at that today. Now first things first though, the first thing I want to do is sell or scrap a Mirasa behind me. So this is a spaceship we found during the stream. It was not part of the story quest or anything, it was just a random ship we found and um, we were able to claim it and I was able to make it flight worthy but a lot of the things are on it that I actually can't repair or do anything with. So I might as well sell it and make some money out of it. So it's a very cheap ship. Let's see, um, we can upgrade it or repair it, claim scrap. So that's what we want to do and that's it, yeah. Just absolutely fine, destroy it, I don't care. Salvage drones are deployed and they're taking her apart. Oh, so I'm getting, oh, look at that. I'm getting a lot of resources here. I don't know if I have that space. Oh, actually I did, luckily. Okay, so we got a handful of cogs. They sell for quite a lot. We got some cobalt. We actually didn't get that 235. I wonder if that's the value of everything we got. And we got a pulse engine module. Okay, improvement to pulse engine and a hyperdrive uh, module. That's awesome. So we have actually two upgrades. Oh, it actually brought my other ship in. Oh, that's amazing. That is so cool. It actually brought my other ship in, which is even better. So we can see if we can put the modules into that, actually. That would be pretty sweet. So let's have a look here. Install pulse engine potentially improvement starship maneuverability or speed. We'll see. Pulse engine module. Let's install. And we're going to put it here. And this is plus 77% in stats. Okay, I'm sure that's gonna be good. So it means we can use the pulse engine for longer potentially, which is great. Now, hyperdrive, let's actually have a look and see. Potential improvements, warp drive efficiency and jump distance. Let's install it. There you go, wonderful. That is nice. And what is it? 65 hyperdrive range increased by 65 light years. Oh, that's amazing. Now, let's have a look and see how we get started with finding a settlement. So I believe we have to talk to this uh, cartographer guy. And I have a lot of um, units. So I have about seven units, I think, that I can spend. And what we're looking for is the settlement chart. Let's go and buy that. So let's um, plot the route. Planetary settlement located. Let me sell everything, actually. So how much money am I going to make? 285,000 is what I was promised. <laughs> well, the modules I kept. So this one is only 8,000. The coolants are 200,000. Okay, that's fair enough. What else do we sell? Yeah, this one here, a handful of cogs. And yeah, that's about right. So that comes to about the amount. So that's interesting. So the value it shows you is actually not the money you get immediately. It's um, the stuff you get and what it's worth it. So and then you can decide if you want to keep it, use it in your own ship, I guess. Or, oh, milestone, because we got over 1 million units. Is that it? Yes, I <laughs> earned 1.1 million units. I feel very rich right now. We need another two and a half, and then we can buy that uh, new multi-tool. It's actually great that it's a planet in my system, but also a planet I haven't been to before. So hopefully it's not going to be too hazardous, but it doesn't matter. We have our shield, and I think we can upgrade that as well to actually um, having to refuel it less, basically. But let's have a look. I mean, red can't be good. It's probably heat, is it? Okay, this looks like it's in the middle of a crater. Oh, wow, look at this. That is so awesome. It's like nestled right inside the crater. That is so cool. Okay, let's actually just land here. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Landing perfectly. Okay, let's go and check it out. Awesome. First contact. This is so cool. Kicks hood off planet. Oh, yeah, that's our actual destination. Planetary settlement detected. Outpost status vulnerable. Ooh, that's not good. Oh. Can we scan things straight away? I'm gonna have to actually scan pretty much everything here. Unless it's minerals, I should get a lot of money for scanning everything. So yeah, that was a mineral. But if it's like um, plants or animals, I get between 40 and 80,000, yeah. So any plant is 45,000 with my scanner upgrades. And you can see them here with all these upgrades that I have. And the animals, uh, they go up to 85,000 in the moment, like, which is great. I know you can improve that even more, but right now that's actually really, really good. So this seems to be a Gek colony. That's great because I'm actually rank three with the Gek. So I'm getting on quite nicely with them. So let's check out what this, oh, capitalist. Okay, every now and then it comes randomly with these achievements. Um, let's go and check out what we can do with the settlement. Oh, okay, we have to talk to this guy. 
Hey. Friend, you here to help? Okay, sure, I help you guys. With the distress signal, what are they doing here? Building a life exposed to harsh planetary existence, battered by elements. Ask about the distress signal. Before I can speak, I hear the wail of a siren. A hostile buzz descends upon the town. The sentinels have arrived. Oh no. Oh crap. Um, I have a gun. Nice, come on. There we go, nice. What do we get here? Supply. Can we destroy it with the gun as well? Excellent, we got nanites for that. Okay, so we're gonna have to kill all these guys, I guess. Bam, 6,000, nice. Oh, this is awesome. That was a crit, actually, that 6,000. Nice. Oh, where's that sweet 6,000 damage we had a second ago? There we go. Nice. Okay, we're gonna pick up these guys in a second. There we go, nice. I'm glad I got that javelin uh, upgrade, actually. There we go, one more. Nice. Okay. Let's see, mining beam. Nice. Nanites, nanites, nanites. Good, I love it. Okay, what now? Now I saved your life. Okay. I don't understand fully your language yet. The little alien hops around, grateful for my assistance in fighting the sentinels, but it is clear they are tired, worn down from the fight. If no one helps them, I fear their settlement will not last much longer. Well, except the thanks. Perhaps I could assist the settlers. The overseer position appears to be newly vacant. Oh, I love it. Okay. Become settlement overseer. Visit the settlement hub interface to take control. So it's actually right here. Look at that. That, that is what we're looking for. So let's interact with this here. Let's go first person view, it's easier. Accessing planetary settlement inference. Access granted. Current overseer status missing. Deceased. Overseer position presumed vacant. Apply for settlement. Yeah, apply for overseer. Thank you. Oh, wow. Idaka Idakasa's pool. Gag planetary settlement. Population 54. Happiness. Productivity. Maintenance cost. Whoa. I can't afford that a day. Catastrophe. Well, you know what? We might as well. I mean, the money comes and goes very quickly in this game. Settlement features cartographer drones. Oh, nice. Increased productivity. Localized quicksand. Occasional population lost. Gravitational anomalies. Poisoned water. Targeted. Oh, my God. This place needs a lot of help. Just the task I need. Oh, productivity. It makes 128,000 a day and it costs 250. So we have to increase its productivity. Okay, let's see if we can become management overseer whatever the settlers construct the overseer's office oh we have to construct the overseer's office now okay all right here we go we have to construct our overseer's office oh we need silicate powder so while i was digging around <clears throat> basically i was digging from barrier technology to barrier technology to get the silica <clears throat> or the silicate and i was wondering if i dig down a little bit further and I use the flattening tool will it actually explode everything above me because I know around my base it did that it just took everything away straight through but there seems to be a limit which is awesome so this means you can potentially do cave bases you just dig down a little bit and then you can literally like if you want to make a room here there you go just make just make a room and that's it so you can actually see it only does a certain height which is pretty amazing. Oh, look at that, there's a creature going through. That is amazing looking. Oh, wow, I already scanned that creature. I saw it early on the top, but this is so weird to see them come through tunnels. Okay, let's hand the silicate over. Excellent. Okay, what else? Now we have to wait for a minute and a half. The officers, the overseer's office will allow you to direct settlement progress. Okay, so it takes um, a minute and a half to construct. All right, we have to now construct a roof. What do we need? It looks like we need five metal plating. That should actually be no problem. We have four and we can... Oh, what do we need for crafting them? Oh, we only need ferrite dust. So, well, that's easy. That's no problem. Okay, here we go. We have enough ferrite dust. Let's craft one more of those plates. And hunt them in. There we go. And 
another minute and a half. Okay, we're back in a minute and a half. Okay, here we go now. The final percentage is coming in. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. It just went poof. And is it complete? Oh no, it needs more. What else do you need? Supply materials, three microprocessors. I actually have the recipe for that. I just don't know what it is I need for them. Oh, look at that. How many can we make? We can make three. That is awesome. It's using up all my chromatic materials, but okay. There you go. And we have to wait another minute and a half. <laughs> okay. Boom. And that's done. Overseer's office construction is complete. Nice. Is, this is mine now. This is my office. Oh, welcome to your own office. Look at that. Oh, yes, baby. Settlement administration terminal. I love it. A few construction opportunities. You see, citizens have submitted proposals for the development of both a new insalubrious den and a machinery unit. Data indicates that 55% approval rating for the den, while 50% for the machinery unit. But it looks like the machinery unit gives more productivity, and if I understand the statistics correctly... I'm not sure where I can see them again. There was a terminal over here. Maybe I can see them here again. Let me see. Current debt. Oh, we're getting more and more into debt. That's not good. Happiness. Well, they're gonna get happier when they get out of debt, but... Let me see. Productivity. So productivity is how much money we're making. So in this case, we want to make as, as close this gap as quickly as possible because when we are broke and I can't afford the debt anymore, then, well, we're going to have bigger problems. So for that reason, I think we should increase productivity by a lot. And this is even negative productivity. So sorry, we got to go with what's practical. Okay, I don't know where they're actually building it, but let's have a look. There's also a thing called few settlement status. Oh, that's just that. I could have actually seen it here. Okay, fair enough. But that productivity will obviously go up. Now, is that something we have to build by providing the resources? Or is that something that, oh yeah, maybe it could be. It could be that that's what we have to build. And then our productivity will go up. Let me see, what do we need? Supply materials, pure ferrite. Well, that's no problem. We actually have a lot of ferrite, so we can make some pure ferrite with our um, refiner here. Okay, here we go. Let's put it all away. Let's take the Arid 80 pure ferrite and put it in. There you go. And wow, now we have to wait 20 minutes. A stranger has arrived at Dakasha's pool. Greet the stranger. Oh, okay, so we have like events happening as well, okay. I mean, we have to wait for 20 minutes, so that will take some time. So, what does the stranger want? Create settlement visitor. Okay, hireling Sosala requests to do business with the overseer and ask for respect as an equal. As an envoy from another settlement, they wish to share technology in the spirit of goodwill. They present the plans for a maintenance unit. I mean, maintenance unit is something we don't have, so... Oh, hang on a second. What are we building right now? Do we have to answer or can we just come back to it in a second? Um, oh, machinery unit. That's what we're building right now. So if I have a look at our settlement status... A maintenance unit would be good, I guess. So yeah, why not? Let's do it. I mean... I'm assuming it shows it in a different color if, it not, if it's not good for us or something. So let's accept it. I mean, this is the new feature that was added in Frontiers, so I don't think there's a lot of knowledge out there yet how this all works. But we got a maintenance unit. Now, is that something we already have now here, or is that just the blueprint? I think it's just the blueprint, isn't it? Yeah, oh no, maintenance unit. Oh yes, productivity increase. We're now at 161,000. So our deficit is not as big anymore. So right now it is 40, roughly 100,000. Okay, we just got a warning about a citizen's dispute. So let's have a look. Scout Kutiavis accuses planetary specialists of smuggling a sonar array past system authorities. It is noted that there are significant gaps in the settlement's recording systems during which no one can account for the whereabouts of the accused. I'm assuming that is my authorities that found him, and I'm assuming that they know how to do their job, so we find him. 
I mean, I'm sorry, like, it, it also is good for our um, settlement because it reduces debt. I love this, these little disputes. I have no idea what the context is. For all I know, the other guy could be completely lying his ass off. It says there's a new citizen request available. It actually tells you that even when you're out and about, which is pretty awesome. So I was like just mining away, getting some stuff, like finding some vortex cubes, making some money. And um, now we have a new request. Nice, few citizen request. A group of adventurous citizens which wish to leave the settlement. They wish to conduct a thorough survey of the local fauna so that the settlement might benefit from a DNA catalog. Oh, it is going to increase our debt, but um, I do think it would be good actually to have what they're after. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, I don't know how much debt we actually can have before the settlement goes kaboom i have no idea but they're returning in an hour that is really awesome what are the options do we have available to us right now we just have the status so our debt is now 100 and oh time until cleared infinite okay so it just keeps counting up until we make more productivity than maintenance cost of course all right let's see we finish actually with construction as well but we have to build the roof now so let's see what we need for it okay three metal plating that should not be a problem there we go three and let's see what we get does it take another 20 minutes or is it quicker this time? The construction of the roof takes 20 minutes as well. All right, the roof is done. We have to do one more upgrade. Let's have a look. I actually had those on me. I was crafting some for backup just so I have them in general because I always needed them. And yeah, it turns out I needed them. I have one left. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's see how long is that going to take? It's also going to take 20 minutes. Okay, the building is finished and uh, nothing special happened. It's just a square block building. I can show you in a second. But um, our productivity is now increased by those 10 or 11,000, whatever it was. And we're now only <laughs> making a loss of 100,000. So let's see actually the building that it made. And um, that is called the machinery building, but it's just literally an empty building. So I wonder if going forward, we will see more life in those buildings that there's like actually somebody assigned to work in the machinery, even if it has no functionality, like just to look like um, alive, you know, instead of just having a couple of guys uh, running around. But I do like seeing their thoughts um, about everything. So the expedition is very fi uh, very soon finished as well. Let's see what happens when it completes. We'll probably just get a message, I guess. There we go. Um, two citizens have left the settlement. No, citizen mission ended in disaster. Wow, 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 wow. It's supposed to help giving us d DNA catalogs. And now we had settlers leaving. Now we only have 52 citizens. Holy balls on a cracker. That's the last time I authorized the citizen expedition. So I've been just waiting around a little bit to see if anything new starts happening, but um, we had no new events, no new office of buildings, no visitors, nothing. So I'm assuming that will happen now over time. We finished our building, our machinery, and we are making a little bit more productivity, but we're still having debt and we're still making a negative balance. Now, I don't know if this every day gets deducted from my actual real money. I have no idea. It probably will be. <laughs> the sentinels alert on this area is 10% because two people disappeared probably but um, I think we're gonna have to wait for either random events like earlier where we are giving building plans or somebody says hey you know we want to build this or that and that way we can get rid of these negative features of the settlement we are we are B class settlement at the moment and I believe you can get up to an S class so there is obviously ways to improve this now I don't know what that is and how it works if you have to go to a vendor and buy blueprints for your settlement i have no idea i'm gonna have to still research that and figure that out if you already know more about it if you have an s-class settlement or something that you leveled up all the way please let me know absolutely that would be fantastic let me know in the comments but for this episode i am leaving this here this episode was specifically only about this um, settlement building except that we scrapped our ship in the beginning but otherwise i wanted to keep it focused so i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching i hope you guys had a good time with it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i'll see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time and then as always huge pass and happy gaming